Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn about Visual Studio Code and we will see what is Visual Studio Code and what can we use it for. So I'll go to my browser and I'll go to Google and search for Visual Studio Code and the very first option that I'm getting is code.visualstudio.com so this is the official website let me go here and I'll also open a Wikipedia link so you can see this is the Wikipedia page and here it says Visual Studio Code is a source code editor developed by Microsoft for Windows, Linux and Mac OS so this is a source code editor that we can use to uh, create our code in different programming languages and it is available for Windows, Linux and Mac and it also supports debugging, Git, syntax highlighting and IntelliSense. So here let me go to the official website of Visual Studio Code and here you can see this is a free open source and runs everywhere so this is a source code editor and here it has options and features like IntelliSense, debugging, built-in Git extensions. and here this is not an IDE so what is the difference between IDE and editor so if I search for difference between IDE and editor so IDE is integrated development environment so when we talk about IDE it is a complete platform for example we have IDEs like Eclipse for Java and some other programming languages then we have Visual Studio for C Sharp and some other languages. So here it is a complete platform where you have all the options to create your code, debug, uh, we have uh, auto code completion, we have some other servers that we require for on that platform. We have all the other utilities and extensions available. However, source code editors do not have the, all these things. They are mostly focused on code editing and code creation. So here, if you see this, we have a stack overflow article and you can look at it what's the difference between IDE and text editor and then we have some other options as well so here if I go to this stack overflow article let me just see what does this say so here you can see IDE stands for integrated development environment it, it's not just a tool you can write the code but you can also compile debug and text editor in their nature do not have most of these uh, and then there are some other options as well. However, Visual Studio Code has much more than a simple editor. It is not just a basic editor. It has options like IntelliSense, debugging, built-in Git extensions. And if I go to the Wikipedia page of Visual Studio Code, you can see this is developed by Microsoft, initially released in 2015. And then uh, it is written in TypeScript, JavaScript and CSS. And can be used on Windows, Mac or Linux and then we have all these uh, information and if you go to the documentation here Visual Studio Code is a source code editor and available on Windows, Linux and Mac OS and includes support for debugging, Git, syntax highlighting, intelligent code completion snippets and code refactoring. So it is much more than a basic editor and if I go and show you a Visual Studio Code editor here. So this is Visual Studio Code. In the coming session we will see how to download and set up both on Windows and on Mac. But for now you can see this is a Visual Studio Code and we have options like uh, we have Explorer here, we have search, then we have source code management, we have debugging and then we have extension and this is a very important feature of Visual Studio Code. You have a lot of extensions and whenever you want to do coding on any of your languages you can just write it and you can find a lot of extensions here. If I search for JavaScript you can see you we will find a lot of extension for JavaScript and any language do you want to know uh, run or use with Visual Studio Code you can just check if it is available and you can do it if you go down you can see we have a lot of language support on Visual Studio Code so you can find a lot of languages that you can work with using Visual Studio Code so this is all about Visual Studio Code I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching